Drink pure, live pure. Water is one of the most vital and indispensable resources on our planet, essential for all forms of life. It covers about 71% of the Earth's surface, and it is a fundamental component of the biosphere, providing the foundation for the food chain and playing a critical role in the ecosystem. Despite being the most abundant natural resource on Earth, access to clean and pure water remains a challenge for many parts of the world, including Pakistan. The lack of access to clean water has significant health implications, particularly for children, who are more vulnerable to waterborne diseases. Contaminated water is a major source of waterborne diseases in Pakistan, such as cholera, typhoid, and hepatitis, which can cause serious illness and even death. Pakistan is an arid country with a high population density, and access to clean and pure water is a major challenge. According to the Pakistan Council of Research in Water Resources, PCRWR, about 60% of Pakistan's population lacks access to safe drinking water. The main sources of water in Pakistan are rivers, glaciers, and groundwater. However, many of these sources are contaminated with industrial and agricultural pollutants, as well as sewage. In some areas of Pakistan, the groundwater is also contaminated with high levels of arsenic, which is a serious health hazard. Water is also a global issue, and ensuring access to clean and pure water is essential for sustainable development. Water scarcity is a growing problem worldwide, with about 2.2 billion people lacking access to safe drinking water, and about 4.2 billion people living without safely managed sanitation services. Climate change is exacerbating this problem, with rising temperatures and changing weather patterns leading to more frequent and severe droughts, floods, and other natural disasters. To address these challenges, governments and organizations around the world are working towards improving access to clean and pure water. Initiatives include water treatment plants, rainwater harvesting, and increased investment in water infrastructure. These efforts are crucial for ensuring access to clean water for all, promoting public health, and supporting sustainable development. In conclusion, water is a precious resource, and ensuring access to clean and pure water is essential for human health, well-being, and sustainable development. While the Earth has a significant amount of water resources, it is crucial to take steps to ensure their protection, conservation, and sustainable use. Let us all pledge to drink pure, live pure, and work towards ensuring access to clean and pure water for all. Factors these are several factors that contribute to the problem of impure water in Pakistan. Industrial and agricultural pollution. Industrial and agricultural activities in Pakistan produce a large amount of waste that contains toxic chemicals and pollutants. This waste often ends up in rivers and other water bodies, leading to contamination of water sources. Inadequate wastewater treatment. In Pakistan, many cities do not have proper wastewater treatment facilities, and untreated sewage often ends up in rivers and other water sources. This not only contaminates the water but also spreads waterborne diseases. Over-extraction of groundwater. In many parts of Pakistan, groundwater is the main source of water for domestic, agricultural, and industrial purposes. However, over-extraction of groundwater has led to a rapid decline in water levels and increased salinity in some areas. Poor infrastructure. Inadequate infrastructure for water supply and sanitation, such as lack of water treatment plants, old and leaky pipelines, and inadequate drainage systems, also contribute to the problem of not pure water in Pakistan. Natural factors. Natural factors such as high levels of mineral content, contamination from nearby rock formations, and seasonal variations in water quality due to heavy rainfall or droughts can also affect the quality of water in Pakistan. Effects. The effects of dirty water in Pakistan are widespread and impact many areas of life. Here are some of the key effects. Health. Contaminated water is a major source of waterborne diseases in Pakistan, such as cholera, typhoid, and hepatitis. These diseases can cause serious illness and even death, particularly among children and people with weakened immune systems. Education. Children who are sick from waterborne diseases often miss school, which can have long-term impacts on their education and future prospects. Productivity. Illnesses caused by dirty water can also lead to lost productivity, as people are unable to work or care for their families. 
Economic costs. Waterborne diseases and water pollution have significant economic costs, including healthcare costs, lost productivity, and damage to fisheries and agriculture. Environmental damage. Pollution from dirty water can also have significant environmental impacts, including damage to ecosystems and wildlife, and reduction in the availability of freshwater resources. Social disadvantage. The lack of access to clean water disproportionately affects marginalized communities, including women and girls who are often responsible for collecting water, and rural communities who may have limited access to safe water and sanitation facilities. Political and social instability. Water scarcity and pollution can also contribute to political and social instability in Pakistan, particularly in areas where access to water is a source of conflict between different communities or regions. Overall, the effects of dirty water in Pakistan are far-reaching and impact many aspects of life. Addressing these issues will require a comprehensive approach, including investments in water infrastructure, improved water management practices, and increased access to safe and clean drinking water for all. Common diseases due to dirty water. Exposure to dirty or contaminated water can lead to a variety of health problems, ranging from mild to severe. Some of the most common diseases caused by drinking contaminated water include Diarrhea. This is one of the most common illnesses caused by dirty water. Contaminated water can contain harmful bacteria, viruses, or parasites that can cause diarrhea, which can lead to dehydration, weakness, and even death if left untreated. Cholera. This is a bacterial infection that causes severe diarrhea and can lead to dehydration and death if not treated promptly. Cholera is most commonly spread through contaminated water. Typhoid fever. This is a bacterial infection that causes fever, abdominal pain, and diarrhea. It can be spread through contaminated water or food. Hepatitis A. This is a viral infection that can cause fever, nausea, vomiting, and jaundice. It is spread through contaminated water or food. Guinea worm disease. This is a parasitic infection that can cause painful skin lesions and can lead to disability. It is spread through drinking water contaminated with the larvae of the guinea worm. Cryptosporidiosis. This is a parasitic infection that can cause diarrhea, abdominal cramps, and fever. It is spread through drinking contaminated water or swimming in contaminated pools or lakes. These diseases can have a significant impact on the health and well-being of individuals and communities, particularly in areas where access to clean and pure water is limited. To prevent the spread of these illnesses, it is essential to improve water treatment and sanitation practices, and to promote access to safe drinking water for all. Measures that government take for pure water. The government of Pakistan has implemented various measures to improve access to clean and pure water and to conserve water resources. Some of these measures include Water treatment plants The government has set up water treatment plants in various parts of the country to provide clean drinking water to the population. These plants remove pollutants and contaminants from the water, making it safe for human consumption. Rainwater harvesting The government has encouraged the practice of rainwater harvesting, especially in areas that face water scarcity. This involves the collection of rainwater from rooftops and other surfaces and its storage for later use. Water conservation campaigns. The government has launched several campaigns to promote water conservation, such as the Save Water, Save Life campaign. These campaigns aim to raise awareness about the importance of water conservation and encourage people to adopt water saving practices. Protection of water sources. The government has taken measures to protect water sources, such as rivers and lakes, from pollution and contamination. These measures include the enforcement of environmental regulations and the implementation of wastewater treatment programs. Construction of dams. The government has initiated several dam construction projects to increase the availability of water for agriculture and other uses. These projects aim to store water during the monsoon season and release it during the dry season to support agricultural production and meet the water needs of the population. Overall, the government of Pakistan has recognized the importance of ensuring access to clean and pure water and the need to conserve water resources. However, there is still a long way to go to address the challenges of water scarcity and pollution in the country. Continued efforts are needed to promote sustainable water management practices, protect water sources, and ensure access to clean and pure water for all. 
History of Pure Water in Pakistan The history of water shortage and dirty water in Pakistan can be traced back to several factors, including natural causes, socio-economic challenges, and poor water management practices. Here is a brief overview of the key events and factors that have contributed to this issue. Geography and Climate Pakistan is located in a semi-arid region, and much of the country is characterized by hot and dry weather. The country relies heavily on its river systems, which are fed by snow and glacial melt in the Himalayan mountain range. However, climate change has resulted in unpredictable rainfall patterns, melting of glaciers, and increased frequency of droughts, affecting the country's water supply. Population Growth and Urbanization Pakistan has one of the fastest growing populations in the world, and its urban population is expected to increase significantly in the coming years. This has put a strain on the country's water resources, with demand outstripping supply in many areas. Industrial and Agricultural Pollution Industrial and agricultural activities in Pakistan produce a large amount of waste that contains toxic chemicals and pollutants. This waste often ends up in rivers and other water bodies, leading to contamination of water sources. Inadequate Wastewater Treatment In Pakistan, many cities do not have proper wastewater treatment facilities, and untreated sewage often ends up in rivers and other water sources. This not only contaminates the water but also spreads waterborne diseases. Over-extraction of groundwater In many parts of Pakistan, groundwater is the main source of water for domestic, agricultural, and industrial purposes. However, over-extraction of groundwater has led to a rapid decline in water levels and increased salinity in some areas. Poor infrastructure Inadequate infrastructure for water supply and sanitation, such as lack of water treatment plants, old and leaky pipelines, and inadequate drainage systems, also contribute to the problem of water shortage and dirty water in Pakistan. Political and administrative challenges The issue of water management is often neglected or poorly managed due to political instability and bureaucratic inefficiencies in Pakistan. These factors have combined to create a situation where millions of people in Pakistan lack access to clean and safe drinking water. The government and various NGOs and international organizations are working to address this issue, but the challenges are significant, and sustained efforts will be needed to improve the water situation in the country. Cities that has the most pure water rate. The quality of water in different cities of Pakistan varies and it's difficult to determine which cities have the most pure water. However, based on the reports of Pakistan Council of Research in Water Resources, PCRWR, and other organizations, some cities in Pakistan are known to have relatively better water quality compared to others. For instance, according to a PCRWR report published in 2020, the following cities had the best quality of drinking water in Pakistan. Lahore, Lahore, which is the capital of Pakistan's Punjab province, is one of the largest cities in the country and is known for its historical and cultural significance. In terms of water quality, Lahore has made significant progress in recent years, and its pure water rate has improved significantly. There are several reasons why Lahore has a good pure water rate. Firstly, the city has invested in modern water supply infrastructure, including the construction of water treatment plants, installation of new pipelines and the rehabilitation of older water supply systems. This has helped to improve the quality of the water supplied to residents. Secondly, Lahore has taken steps to improve water management practices and promote water conservation among residents. For example, the city has implemented a number of programs to raise awareness about the importance of conserving water, such as educating residents about the proper use of water and the need to fix leaking taps and pipes. Thirdly, the Punjab government has launched several initiatives to improve access to clean and pure water in the province, including the establishment of the Punjab Saaf Pani Company PSPC, which is responsible for providing safe drinking water to rural areas in the province. Despite these improvements, however, Lahore still faces significant challenges in terms of access to clean and pure water, particularly in low-income areas of the city. Water scarcity and contamination from industrial and agricultural pollutants continue to be major issues, and there is still much work to be done to ensure that all residents of Lahore have access to safe drinking water. It's important to note that even in these cities, the water quality may not be completely pure and free from contaminants. 
It's recommended to use water filtration methods or boil the water before consuming it to ensure that it's safe for drinking. Islamabad Islamabad is the capital city of Pakistan and it has been ranked as having the best quality of life in the country. One of the reasons for this is the high quality of water available in the city. Islamabad has one of the highest rates of access to clean and pure water in Pakistan, with nearly 100% of the population having access to safe drinking water. There are several factors that contribute to Islamabad's high rate of pure water. Firstly, the city is located at the foothills of the Himalayas, which provides a natural filtration system for the water. As water flows down from the mountains, it passes through layers of rocks and soil, which help to filter out impurities and pollutants. Secondly, Islamabad has a well-established water supply system, which includes water treatment plants and a network of pipes and storage tanks. The water treatment plants use advanced technologies to remove contaminants and pollutants from the water, making it safe for human consumption. The storage tanks ensure that the treated water is available to residents throughout the city. Thirdly, the government of Pakistan has made significant investments in improving water infrastructure in Islamabad. For example, the Islamabad Water Supply and Sewerage Project was launched in the 1990s to improve the city's water supply system. The project included the construction of new water treatment plants, the installation of water meters, and the rehabilitation of existing water supply systems. Finally, the residents of Islamabad have also played a role in ensuring access to pure water. There is a strong culture of water conservation in the city, with residents being encouraged to use water responsibly and to avoid wastage. In summary, Islamabad has the most pure water rate in Pakistan due to a combination of factors, including its location, well-established water supply system, government investment in water infrastructure, and a culture of water conservation. Cities of Pakistan does not have pure water to drink. Access to pure and safe drinking water is a challenge in many cities of Pakistan. While the water quality can vary within a city, there are some cities that are known to have particularly poor water quality. Some examples are Karachi. Karachi is the most populous city in Pakistan, and its water supply is often contaminated with industrial pollutants, sewage, and other impurities. According to a report by the Pakistan Council of Research in Water Resources, PCRWR, more than 90% of the water supplied to Karachi is unsafe for drinking. Hyderabad. Hyderabad, located in the southern province of Sindh, is also known for its poor water quality. The city's main source of water, the river Indus, is heavily polluted with industrial and agricultural waste. Rawalpindi. Rawalpindi, a city in the northern province of Punjab, faces issues related to both water quality and water scarcity. The city's main source of water, the Khanpur Dam, is often contaminated with pollutants such as fecal coliforms, arsenic, and lead. Faisalabad, Faisalabad, located in central Punjab, is known for its textile industry, which contributes significantly to the pollution of water sources in the region. The city's main source of water, the Chinab River, is heavily polluted with industrial waste. It's important to note that while these cities are known to have particularly poor water quality, access to pure and safe drinking water is a challenge in many other cities and areas of Pakistan as well. Drink Pure, Live Pure, in Pakistan, the quality of drinking water is a major concern due to factors such as contamination from sewage, industrial waste, and agricultural runoff. This has led to various health problems such as gastrointestinal illnesses, skin infections, and even cancer. To ensure safe drinking water, it is important for individuals in Pakistan to take precautions such as boiling water, using water filtration systems, or consuming bottled water from trusted sources. In addition, the government and other organizations can play a role in addressing water contamination issues by implementing stricter regulations and investing in water treatment infrastructure. By prioritizing the consumption of clean and pure water, individuals in Pakistan can improve their overall health and well-being, while also reducing the risk of waterborne illnesses and other health problems associated with contaminated water sources. Organizations that will work for pure water. There are several organizations that are working to improve access to clean and pure water in Pakistan. Some of the notable ones include Pakistan Council of Research in Water Resources, PCRWR, 
PCRWR is a government agency that works to improve water management practices and promote sustainable use of water resources in Pakistan. It conducts research on water quality, provides technical assistance to government agencies, and works with communities to promote water conservation and sanitation. Water Aid Pakistan Water Aid is an international non-profit organization that works to improve access to clean water, sanitation, and hygiene in developing countries. Its Pakistan program focuses on providing safe drinking water, building toilets, and promoting hygiene practices in rural communities. World Health Organization WHO WHO is a specialized agency of the United Nations that works to improve global public health. In Pakistan, WHO works with the government and other partners to improve access to safe drinking water and sanitation facilities, and to prevent and control waterborne diseases. UNICEF UNICEF is a UN agency that focuses on promoting the rights and well-being of children around the world. In Pakistan, UNICEF works to improve access to safe drinking water and sanitation facilities for children and their families, especially in rural areas. The Asia Foundation The Asia Foundation is a non-profit organization that works to improve governance and promote sustainable development in Asia. Its water governance program in Pakistan focuses on improving water management practices, promoting community participation, and strengthening the capacity of government agencies to manage water resources. These organizations, along with many others, are working towards improving access to clean and pure water in Pakistan, but the challenges are complex and require sustained efforts from multiple stakeholders. Sure. Here's an updated summary that includes some factors, effects, and precautions specific to Pakistan.